Hello! I scared you, didn't I? Uh, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. It is officially spooky season, hence why I'm wearing my spooky sweatshirt with the little bat, pumpkin, and uh, cat with one missing eye. Also, not sure if you happen to notice, but I did give myself a little bit of face art today. It's supposed to be a pumpkin, but I'm aware that it looks like a peach. If you guys would like a tutorial on this pumpkin face paint, let me know down in the comments. But because it is the time of the year that we can unleash our inner spooky, ghosty, creepy selves, well, maybe not creepy because that is me all year long, but you get the point. It is Halloween time. And for me, that means I get to do some pretty extra stuff that I wouldn't normally do. So by the way, have you guys seen the video of the gummy rat? Have you guys seen the gummy rat review? The Hilo guy. Hilo, Pete Rat Gumai can die. Please tell me you've seen the gummy rat review. Stop the video right now. Go watch the gummy rat review. You'll just get it. You'll just understand and you'll be a part of the inside joke. Hilo, he out to have a blue DKR. So I was bored today, happened to be procrastinating, and yes, it does happen often. Uh, and I happened to get on Pinterest, first warning sign. So I had this thought, what if, and I'm, I'm not saying I'm gonna do this, I'm not a harm to myself or others, but what if I were to, let's say like, accidentally run over like a few hundred people with my car? Not saying I'm gonna do it, not saying it's ever gonna happen, but what would that look like? And I happened to look up bloody car on Pinterest, and I was not disappointed at all. So I figured I wanted to give this a try myself considering I drive a white car and I know that blood would show up really well on my car. Wow, that is a sentence that I never thought I would say. I got this at the Halloween store for $9.99. It is genuine fake blood. Haha, <laughs> oxymoron. Haha, <laughs> I'm a moron. This is exactly what I'm gonna be using to splatter all over my car to make it look like I ran over a bunch of people or got caught in a zombie apocalypse or something. If you are going to try this at home, I did my research on this, yes. Make sure you're gonna buy a fake blood that is water-based and read the instructions. And if you're a child, make sure you ask a parent. Either you could hurt yourself or if someone sees you doing this, they could get extremely terrified. But this is what I will be using to rub all over my car. It's gonna look like a mess, but the research has told me that this should dry on my car and then just come off when I decide to wash it. So let's hope that that's true. I feel like I've never had so much faith in the internet as I do right now, but we're gonna give it a go because that's just the type of people we are. I'm starting to think now, like what if it doesn't come off? That's gonna be really sad, um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But for now, let's get started at making my car look like I survived a zombie apocalypse. So let's get started. I'm just kidding, I'm not actually gonna do that. We're just gonna cut to the scene. By the way, it's official. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just ignore the sounds of traffic. Also, I wanted to mention my pumpkin face paint was painted on by my acrylic paint that I used to paint actual paintings. So I have no idea if it's gonna come off of my face or not. And I have no idea if this blood will come off of my car or not. So like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. I hope you guys can see me straddling this parking thing. I'm just gonna open up my blood. That is some real fake blood, all right. So my inspiration for this, I kind of want there to be handprints. I want there to be streaks. I want there to be splatters. I want it to look pretty gruesome, honestly. I have this handy dandy paper plate so I can stick my hand in it. It looks like actual blood, like it's viscous. It is coagulating as we speak. It's like a horror movie. Okay, it's actually freaking me out a little bit. I worked in the medical field, I can do this. Oh my god! Oh, I'm getting I'm getting excited now. Oh yeah. This is like adult finger painting. I want there to be some splatter. Natural drippage. Some natural drippage. Natural drippage. 
Guys, this is looking sick. And by sick, I mean, it, I, it's actually making me sick. I don't know if I'm afraid of blood or what's happening. Also a good kind of sick, like rad sick. <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh! I just stepped in the blood, guys. I want some splatters over here. Yeah. And some splatters up here. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know if you guys know, but I'm actually a painter. So when I look at something like this, I need there to be balance. And I feel like right now I gave a lot of attention to this left side over here, um, or right side for you. And I want to give more attention to the other side. So I'm going to move over there. This is interesting. While I'm doing this, I'm learning a lot of techniques on how to work blood and how to make it splatter in ways so that look it looks like you ran someone over, but you really didn't. I don't know if I could use this information in the future, possibly if I'm like staging a murder or trying to frame someone. I'm gonna bring you around over here so you can see what I'm doing. I really want it to look like I just got on top of someone and started spinning my wheels, so I'm trying to cause, make that effect. I just realized I'm definitely leaving a lot of blood on the ground. I really hope no one sees that because this is a parking lot that other people use. So I'm imagining someone watching me do this right now, moving my camera around while they watch me fling blood all over my car and I can't help but think that they would think I'm a weirdo. But they're not wrong. Well, I think I'm about done. Um, I should probably go in and wash my hand, see what the damages are there, and then we'll check back. Okay, so I believe I am done, but I wanna be extra safe. Um, I'm gonna find a good dried spot and try and wipe it off and see what happens, just to make sure this comes off. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's coming off clean. Okay, that makes me feel good. So I know that this is gonna come off of my car just fine. We're not gonna have any staining issues. And it is drying quite brown, which I don't know if that is consistent with real blood, but um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think this looks pretty cool. I can only imagine this is how murderers feel when they actually murder. But how cool is this? How cool is this? And my personal favorite part. <laughs> so yes, guys, that is my zombified car. I hope you like it. So there you guys have it. Um, my car officially looks amazing. I hope I get to scare some people during this spooky season and I hope I don't get pulled over in the next couple weeks. But if you liked this video on how to make your car look like you survived a zombie apocalypse or ran over a hundred people, let me know down in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up with some of the other things I'm going to be doing this Halloween, follow me on my Instagram. It's Natalia underscore underscore Taylor. Yes, there are two underscores. Also, wanted to let you guys know really quick, I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm being over apologetic right now. I'm trying not to do that as much. Um, I have a sponsored video coming up, but I'm going to make it cool. I'm going to make it fun. You're still going to enjoy it. And thank you for being patient and understanding with me. Challenge for the week. Replace every unnecessary apology with a thank you. I saw that on Facebook today. But I also have a really big surprise coming up for you guys, and it's really difficult for me to keep it a secret because I'm one of those people that's bad with secrets, but I am so excited. I cannot contain it. So if you're interested on in what the surprise is, make sure you stay tuned in my future videos in the next two weeks. I will be announcing my big surprise. But until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of your spooky season. And I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. B.I.